Hey, hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your computer that you can play some cool sound effects while you're presenting in the video conference software. So what we need is a bunch of different software. Why is so complicated? Well, because most of the video software, they only allow you one input. Okay, here's my microphone. Please take the sound from it. But what if we need to play some other sounds from the computer? How can we do that? You can either do that through external audio card, a mixing desk, all those kind of stuff, or you can have all of that inside of the computer. So let's go step by step. First thing we need to install is GarageBand. It comes for free with your Mac. So we go to App Store. Okay. You look for GarageBand and you just install it here. Once it's there, you just need to open it. Second software is your kind of mixer slash aggregating device that you need. You can find it on this website. You basically need to type in your address, your name, and you will get like a free version of it. Uh, setting it up is really straightforward. Just click, click, click. You got the... So once you have it installed, you just go to MIDI setup, audio MIDI setup, and you should see one of those devices. I have two of them here because I first installed like one version for two channels and then the other one for 16 channels just to try out if there is any difference. For our, In our case, there is no difference at all. Okay, so once we have it installed, don't bother, you don't need it anymore. So the next thing you need to get is Citala. This is a free sampler. It can load a bunch of sounds and play them through a custom device, black hole in our case. Okay, you can download it from this website. It install is super straightforward. The next thing you need to get is a bunch of uh, samples to load into this thing. It comes with some samples, but there are like drum sounds. You need applause, right? I found this website that has a bunch of samples that are distributed under Creative Commons license. And that means you can even use them commercially. And I found this sample that I already downloaded <clears throat> and I can use that in my sampler. Let's put everything together now. We start with Citala. I already have it open. By default, we have a bunch of samples loaded up, which are drum samples. We need to create a new kit and then load sample. And then we select the one that we have. It suggests us to slice the sample, we can do it any time. Adjust the length of the sample. What is important is that we need to configure our audio output. I already have black hole. Select it as an output device, make sure it's here. Once it's there, it will be playing all samples through that device. The next thing we need to do is to launch our um, GarageBand. We go with a an empty project. It will ask you which device do you want to use as an input and which device you want to use as an output. As an input device, you use a device with your microphone. In my case, it's a Plattronics a headset. And the output device in your case is going to be black hole to channels. Okay. So we select that. We have the project. Once it's there, it just needs to be running. You don't need to do anything else here. You can just basically uh, minimize the window. And let's try to put everything together. I'm going to open the meet conference. I'm going to create a new meeting. Okay, let's go for instance meeting. Okay, and what I'm going to do is define here is the microphone device, which should be black hole, two channels. Okay, you can see already the sound is coming in. That's coming from my microphone. And if I play sound through Citala, you can see uh, it's going to be jumping up as well. All right, we have it. Cool. Very nice. And of course, the speakers, you just select Platronics. 
once it's there you're good to go 